Hi there, I'm Dr. Bob Bear. I was asked by my good buddy, Michael Dadashi, to say a few things about recovery. And I'm glad to just say a few things about what's worked for me and how, how I got here. You know, I'm from a long line of tough guys, but I was taught that the main thing was to be strong, uh, figure it out, uh, to come up with the solution, and to do it in my own head. And that worked until I was about 35 and uh, had a daughter. Uh, that died an infant in 1987, and that just cracked me open for the first time in my life since I was since I was a little kid. And uh, man, I cried for a year. And when I came up, I found myself in 12-step recovery, uh, and uh, that is where I've come alive. So the V word, I guess, would be the theme of what I wanted to share: the vulnerability uh, of recovery. It's required. I cannot uh, stay sober. I cannot have a good life if I don't learn how to open up a little bit emotionally. None of that was taught to me. I don't know, I think it's, you know, men are taught to be tough, women are taught to be nice. I think, we, you know, it doesn't leave a whole lot of room for authenticity for any of us. And so, in my recovery, I've learned, you know, the, the quote of uh, Dr. Carl Jung that says, we do not become enlightened by imagining figures of light. We become enlightened by calling the darkness into consciousness. There's a whole lot of dialogue in psychology right now about really staring at the light and affirming ourselves. But, you know, for me, I had to learn how to look at the darker uh, part of me in order to recover, to take a look at some of my character defects and uh, sneak up on the humble topic. Uh, so, you know, I hang around with people that are more vulnerable and open and, and really are genuine with me, and that's what keeps my recovery uh, alive and sustainable.